So what were your impressions of LBJ before you took the role, not knowing that you would eventually play LBJ? You, you were seven years old when you took office. Yeah. So you probably have recollections as a, as a child, but, but what, what were your impressions of well, before my, doing this? You know, it's, it's noted, but perhaps many people don't know this part of it, but um, Lyndon Johnson had a, had a public persona um, when he spoke to the press and he, that he put on. He felt it was more presidential if he had a, a more serious tone to it. Um, but he really wasn't that way at all. He was a, a storyteller and a, a, a jokester and, and, a, and uh, he, he was fun to be with. And then he could turn it and be very serious and very intent <clears throat> and in your face and in your personal space. Um, I didn't know any of that. When I was, when I was a boy and the, and the assassination happened, uh, it had an impact on me, a, a tremendous impact on me. Uh, not personally because I was only seven, so I, I didn't quite understand why this happened or what it meant, um, but I could see it reflected in my parents and all of the neighbors who huddled together as many people did and embraced each other and wept and, and consoled each other. And so I knew something was very important here, and I needed to pay attention. And so the president then was Lyndon Johnson. And listening to him and watching him, um, I always thought my impression of him was that he was a very soft-spoken, laconic, measured man. And that's what he wanted me to think and feel. But So it was a, a, a big surprise to learn little tidbits of it as I grew up. He really wasn't that way, and 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 all the the stories about him. And then when I really started the research, I was on that I was on a roller coaster ride, finding out about <laughs> everything about Lyndon Johnson. Was there a great revelation in that uh, discovery process? What, was there one big revelation in that, in that discovery process? Um, well, the first the first thing that I thought of when when I after I read Robert's script and fell in love with the the mastery of it and and the just the the, the wonderful con construction of the script itself to support the story of this man uh, and I believe I asked him at the time I said do you think that he was such a champion for the civil rights movement because he truly believed it or did he think that this was the, the political move to make, and it would set his legacy. And, um, and we discussed that, and, and, and when I found out uh, more, you know, when I started my, my research, found out that he was in, in Catula, um, Texas, uh, teaching at a very, very poor school, and these kids who literally dirt poor, um, migrant farm worker kids and didn't speak the English and um, were made the terrible mistake of being born poor and the treatment that they received from the white people in the in the town and it, it resonated with Lyndon so deeply the the injustice of that that because he, he knew them he knew these kids and they were eager to learn and they obeyed and they wanted to be taught and, and to have them being derided and, and ridiculed and demeaned by people who didn't know them, it had a tremendous impact. And I think without that experience, he might not have been the absolute champion that he was for civil rights across the board. 